You have to think about the foundation of it. All the information that we get about the Earth, about space, the moon, and all these things comes from NASA. Every picture that you've ever seen is given to you by NASA. So NASA is also associated with the moon landing being a hoax. One small step for man. They are some of the most famous images in history. But why are there no stars in the night sky? Why is the American flag waving here when there was no air to cause any breeze? There are moments where the crosshairs lie behind equipment. Well, guys fall forward and looks like they get yanked up by wires. Reflected in the visor is a mysterious object. I'm sure that's something that everyone at this point has heard of, yeah. right? All the pictures that they take of the Earth are composite images, so no images that we see are actually ever a camera from real far away looking at the Earth. Wait, what, what do you mean? They're all composite images, because they can't just get it all in one shot, so they have to go around the Earth and take a bunch of pictures, and then they piece it together. International Space Station residents only see about 3% of Earth's surface at any one time. If you zoom in on them, there's cloud formations that repeat several times, which how could that ever really happen? They're just copying and pasting things. There's a small problem with it because there's a very slight gap in between each orbit. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. That's one thing that builds distrust because you have to have distrust of who's giving you your information to feel like maybe the flat Earth is visible, right? It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. Well, and even so, the moon landing is one of those things where, like, maybe 20 years ago, everybody thought, oh, that's stupid, that's crazy. But now, I feel like kind of everybody's down for the moon landing being fake. I mean, they say all the footage of the original moon landing was lost. You know what they think happened to the original moon tapes? They might have been taped over. It's not a cassette. It's not an old mixtape from college. We have been unable to, to, to track it down. And as I said, even if we had it, we don't have the machines to play it back. It's incredible that we can keep track of Egyptian pots from 2,000 years ago, but we lose tapes made only 40 years ago. Oh, wait. So we lose all the footage and all the technology was destroyed. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology. And then if you take science into consideration, science only works if you have one magical event that no one has to actually have proof for. Everything stems from the Big Bang Theory. Something the size of a pinhead, two atoms connecting, blowing up and creating everything that's in this universe. In a millionth of 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 a second, it went from a size smaller than an atom to bigger than a galaxy. Right, and then Einstein thought of the theory of gravity, which is just a theory. You have the Big Bang Theory, the theory of gravity. So, now we have a disbelief for these things. The last thing that you have to think about is religion. So in the Bible, it talks about the sea, there's the sky, there's the firmament. What the firmament is, is a dome. It says that in the Bible. Yeah, there's a firmament, so the dome shaped, the heavens are above it, and then it talks about how the earth expands to its four corners. So that also would make you feel like there could be a flat shape to it. Okay, so really quick, give us a breakdown. What is the flat earth theory and why does it exist? So the flat earth theory is that we are not on a ball. We're not on a sphere. We're on something that's flat, a flat plane, a planet, right? Is just the word plane with a T. And Antarctica, which is in the very south, is an ice wall that's around all of the continents. So instead of us being able to go around the world, it's all enclosed by Antarctica's ice wall. So the United Nations map is actually the flat earth map model. They have actual borders around this and then you see all the continents spread out. So if this was a globe, they spread it out like this. So that's the model that they believe and there's an Arctic ice wall around it. And one reason this gets perpetuated and people think it's valid to think Antarctica is the barrier is because in the late 50s there was a treaty signed by almost all the major countries of power to not let anybody go into Antarctica. So if you try to get close to Antarctica, they're gonna tell you, get the hell out of here. You could go on little explorations of it, but nothing without a bunch of people monitoring you, right? And planes don't fly over it. All flight patterns take you away from Antarctica. No one's flying directly over it. They always take a weird route. Like, there was an airplane that was going from the Philippines to Los Angeles. 
which should be a straight route Philippines to Los Angeles. Mid-flight, a woman, her water broke. So they had to make an uh, emergency landing. They could have either just turned around or kept going to Los Angeles. Somehow they ended up in Alaska. So the flight plan to get them from Philippines to Alaska, if you put it on the flat earth map, it's a straight line from the Philippines to Alaska. But when you put it on a globe, it makes no sense, right? <laughs> so there's like, let, let me break some stuff down. The world that we live in. Let's really analyze this. We live in a world that is all based on material things. Materialism really is what controls the country. Mm -hmm. Money, uh, really it's about sex, it's about objects. This is my shoe closet. And where's the curve? Have you ever seen the curve of the earth? You get your information from a book written by men you've never met. And you take their words as truth. I mean, they say, well, in an airplane, you could see it, but I can't see it. Yeah. You're at six feet tall. I can see about three miles ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And I can see about 20 miles in a panoramic setting. Right. If I'm 10,000 feet up, more than a thousand times taller than what I am, shouldn't I be able to see about a thousand times more at, at minimum? I mean, the earth is only 24,000 miles around. I should be able to see some kind of a curve. They send hot air balloons up. They just still see the same horizon. So if the earth is flat, if there is. Why do the people in charge want us to think it's round? Because on a round earth, hurling through space at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour, we're not really here for a purpose. We're just here coincidentally because of a big bang and the particles and evolution. But on a flat earth, with the dome on top of it, or even just a flat earth with just the heavens above, all of a sudden we have purpose. Think about if the moon knew your name how personal you feel with the universe. Mm -hmm. You know the moon's name, but the moon doesn't know your name. Mm -hmm. You're not important to the moon. But what if the moon existed solely for you? Mm -hmm. What if the universe was for you? But instead, the government wants you to feel like it's all unpredictable and at any point it's all gonna go to shit because we really don't matter anyways. We're just a, a rock flying through space. Mm -hmm. So it just makes us feel insignificant. And then and, that's easier for them to control. And the best way to take over people is to create conflicts and to get them obsessive over things that don't really matter to their existence.